Now that Von Torbel has closed its deal with UBS, taking over its offshore business with US clients, it holds over $10 billion of US wealth in Switzerland. Peter Romancina, who heads Swiss Financial Advisors, will tell us what's on the minds of high net worth individuals on the other side of the pond. Hello, Peter. Hi, Jade. So what makes the US so attractive for Von Torbel as a market? And perhaps you can describe your business model there. So the US uh, is certainly one of the largest, if not the largest capital market in the world and also a very efficient capital market. If you look at private wealth, it has a global market share of about 40%. So on the one hand, it's the size, but it's also the growth of the market. And our recent uh, UBS SFA acquisition has to be seen in that context. So we bought a distribution channel that scales into this very important market that is a focus market for Fontol. The business model as such is based mostly on US persons wanting to diversify their booking center into Switzerland with all the consequences and the layers of diversification that are possible. Can we talk a little bit about those clients, these high net worth individuals? What's on their minds and how does it differ for an advisor catering to a client in the US uh, than say in Switzerland? So basically you're asking about why are they diversifying into Switzerland? So their concerns can be multiple. On the one hand, you might have somebody living in California who is afraid of the big earthquake and want to physically diversify their assets. Some of them might, for example, hold physical gold and they don't want to have it them that in California, but rather in Switzerland. Others simply don't want to have all eggs in one basket and would like to diversify also their currency, their asset allocation, their managers, and just generally, I mean, uh, diversification is the only f free lunch if you think in uh, sort of modern market theory. And what is it these clients like particularly about Switzerland? I mean, Switzerland uh, still has a reputation as a private wealth market. We still command a relatively high market share there. Its stability, its rule of law. Uh, we are also, uh, you could argue, we are a sister republic of the US. So they like Switzerland for a lot of uh, its uh, sort of strengths and traits. And uh, they have a lot of investment opportunities uh, through Switzerland uh, into the rest of the globe. You mentioned reputation there. Did this take a hit after the Swiss government orchestrated the takeover of Credit Suisse by UBS? I mean, there were certainly initial concerns. That's obvious. And we also saw this uh, sort of in the number of questions we got from our clients and our prospects. But given the decisive action, as you just said, I think uh, these concerns subsided relatively quickly. And uh, there was also the market reaction. The market reacted quite positively. It calmed down. And then we also put these concerns to bed by uh, explaining people sort of uh, the custody, the segregation of assets, and then Von Tobel's very strong capital position and very strong strategy. Now looking ahead, where is it you expect to grow in the US market? We mostly, given our size, want to grow in the big centers. So we have teams working the East Coast, we have teams working the West Coast, and then there is some interest also, uh, growing interest in the central area, particularly Georgia, Texas, but you can really go up and down the East and West Coast mostly. Thank you, Pizza, for speaking to me today. Pleasure to be here, Jade. And thank you to you for watching Finnews. Thank you.